So one of the alternative activities you can do in Taraja, you know, beyond funerals and seeing ancient cemeteries and caves, is a simple nature hike. And when you walk down these Taraja roads, you're gonna come across things like these bamboo forests. There's gonna be chocolate, there's gonna be coffee, all types of just kind of cool things to see. Cedar, mm -hmm. what do you think of this hike? I think it's starting to get good. Yeah, it's pretty? Yeah, it's pretty. It's, not, it's nice that it's shaded. Yeah. And as you can see, uh, we're gonna be surrounded by these traditional houses. A hike like this, you're also gonna walk through rice terraces. Hopefully we'll have an opportunity to uh, mingle with some locals. Uh, but either way, we're gonna go out for about two hours. Aru is with us. He's up with Kelly and Granite, just sort of narrating all the things that we're gonna be seeing. So a hike, simple hike, right down these old country roads. Very pretty. And it should open up to some great landscaping as you go up and down through the, the rolling hills here in Taraja. Like just doing some uh, maintenance here on the road. Pretty rocky, but pretty nice. We're coming just around the bend now to our first batch of rice terraces. We're actually going down right now. Wow, there's all types of huge stone outcroppings that you can see just all right around this corner. You can see Kelly's got forest in the ergo. Uh, you know, something like this, he could probably walk, but over the course of two hours, it's nice to have a carrier like that. And you can tell it just opens up. Ooh, beautiful landscapes. Here's our first real rice terraces that we're coming to. And when I think of rice terraces, I always think of Bali, but there are so many beautiful rice terraces here in Taraja that it might give Bali a run, a run for its money. This is uh, really nice, really pretty. And blue skies, white clouds dirt roads, mud, it's gorgeous. Hello, Hello pot. Hello. Friendly people all over the place. Ooh, but the sun is baking. I would say it's probably in the upper 70s right now. Not too hot, but could get there soon. We'll see. It's about uh, 1030 in the morning right now. You see all those rocks, Granite? Yeah. Cool, right? Yeah. I think so. There's a buffalo. Water a buffalo. Taking a bath. Yeah. Right there, getting a bath, cooling down. There's a guy washing his buffalo. <laughs> That's awesome. You want to go down there for us, get a bath? Yeah. Mm, yeah, no? Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, again, uh, the number of water buffaloes uh, that we've seen, I mean, hundreds, thousands, yeah. they're all over the place. It's yeah. really cool. And they love soaking in the mud. So I wonder if that one was just doing a mud soak and now that dude's down there washing them. A lot more traditional housing. I have a, yeah, I think we're gonna probably snake through. It'll be this rolling uh, hike that we'll do today. But I, I'm assuming the guy just watched his buffalo right down there. Really pretty. Maybe we can go say hi. It looks like he's using, uh, looks like he's using grass to uh, scrub his buffalo down. Uh, probably cold. Yeah. Wanna go stick your foot in there? Um, Just stick your hand in. Okay. <laughs> cold? Medium. Medium, alright. Nice to go swimming, huh? Yeah. Foggy! kids on the moped. Now here's another example of a cave uh, with a, a tomb, an uh, in-rock tomb. So again, the door looks nice. Hello! Poggy! Roboton. Yeah, very nice. So, yes, we had the smoothie. Yes. Roboton. Hello, Poggy! The dogs are definitely saying, like, don't come up here. Hello, Buggy. Hello. Hello. The so all the school kids uh, in the uniforms. Yeah. Uh, the different color uniforms represent the different age groups that they're in. Yeah, the different grades, I believe. Yeah. So they have early years, middle years, and then the, like the, 
what do they call the senior like the high school high school and maybe secondary secondary right that's yeah. that's right that's right so you see all types of great stuff and again a vegetation through this hike it's really pretty we're going right this little village now yeah but roads better oh yes big banana trees i can see a big bunch up there roosters that was a monkey for a second <laughs> roosters Hey, all right, our first Indonesian ladybug. Yeah. Let me touch it. You want to touch it? Yeah, we might touch it. All right. Upward, onward. A beautiful hike. It'd be nice if there was a place that sold uh, coffee or tea along the way. We'll find out. But going through the villages is cool. I mean, we'd never come here normally if you're visiting Taraja on a hike, so just to walk through these villages. It's pretty cool. Many traditional houses. Got like laundry hanging up there. Here's another example of where the grain is stored. Hopefully it's a good balance of uh, shade, flat but right now we're definitely hitting one of these uphills <laughs> there's forest making a bunch of noise back there buggy, buggy, buggy. yeah good morning <laughs> so it's uh hot but this guy's maintaining the field all his rice terrace and there's a guy chilling in the lean-to over here drinking uh palm wine you know you're in the sun for so long it's nice just to sort of chill Get some shade. Hey, Poggy. Enjoy the palm wine. All this is rice. Uh, to, the oh, to the clan, to the family clan. Yeah, family clan. All down the hillside. And the family lives in these uh, houses here. Yeah. And all these houses. It's all one big clan? Big clan. I see. But some families live out of Toraja because most Torajan live out of Toraja. I see. Yeah, you were saying the young people once they uh, graduate tend to leave Toraja for uh, job seekers all over Indonesia and globally. I mean, some some young people live in Toraja. They don't go out because of they don't have any high education. I see. I see. So or they, they uh, don't have any a lot of skills. Okay. So what? What? How many? Years of school is mandatory. Like everybody goes to primary school. Yes, sir. And secondary? Secondary possible. Okay. High school too. Okay. Because if they want to uh, work like a uh, entrepreneur or private company, maximum uh, young people have to graduate from high school. Yeah. Uh, especially university. Most. With it's much better. I see. All right. Well, we got the dogs riled up, so we'll keep on moving. Just as we continue up and up and up, here's a family clinic. Hello, Puggy. Family clinic uh, for the children. How are you, Puck? Good to your trip. Yeah, thank you. Be careful on the way. Yeah, we will. Very nice. Clinic. Okay, nice clinic. To you too, Puck. All right. Bye-bye. All right. So, again, Hikes like these, just do village after village. Always uh, nice people, curious to know where we have come from. But up and up we go. Walking through villages like we are, you come across a number of Christian churches. I believe Aru was saying something like 80% of Taraja is in fact Christian so very large very beautiful churches are very common throughout all of Taraja and you'll see cityscapes where you'll see 10 15 churches all kind of speckling the landscape now here rural as we are lots of rice terraces I imagine this church supports uh, this one church supports the entire community so again a very beautiful church I wonder if we can look inside. You guys doing good? Hot, huh? We're doing good. It's hot, but uh, 
It's pretty up here. Yeah, at least there's a little breeze. There's a breeze. But the views are spectacular. I just love the traditional houses. Very beautiful. They look really cool on the landscape. Okay, let's see about uh, if we can look inside the church. It might be locked. That one's locked. Locked. That's all right. Maybe we can peek inside of a window here. Ah, here we go. Okay, well, it's sort of hard to tell from the GoPro, but you can definitely see color flags, all the pews. Ah, here's a better shot. Okay, so I mean, it just looks very much like a standard Christian church. I see the cross. You've got all your pews and a large roof. Yeah, very standard looking church on the inside. Very pretty. One cool component about the Christian church that Aru was telling me earlier. Hello, Poggy. Good morning. Good morning. Is that when Christianity was introduced to Taraja a long time ago, the reason Christianity really took hold versus other religions coming in is that when the early missionaries came they took the effort to sort of merge those Trajan rituals within Christianity that's why today when you go to a funeral like these right here you'll still see the water buffalo sacrifice the pig sacrifice keeping the bodies the dead bodies who are sick in the house. It's all part of the ancient Chirajan rituals. And those missionaries took those components and blended it with Christianity, which is why, again, so many people here are Christian. Because of the early missionaries' work to sort of merge, not just say like, no, this is totally wrong, don't do that, follow these rules. It was more of a, uh, maybe you'd call it even respect of the culture and the blend of Christianity. Very, uh, very cool, I think. <laughs> oh, <laughs> little girl, huh? Wow. Uh, Same boy, pretty girl. Whoa. Together. Where came <laughs> from? America. America? Yeah. Oh, so good. Come yeah. to visit. This is our first, first time in Sulawesi. Wow. Yeah. Uh, where is the... Uh, no homestay with friend. No homestay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very, very pretty good. though. Okay. So pretty. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Same <Sign> that. <laughs> yeah. That. But motorcycle. Oh, here goes cycle. All right, we move one. on. All right, so it's very common when you walk to come across water buffaloes like this. And you can see that uh, this buffalo has blue eyes. So I have a hunch it's a more expensive buffalo, even though it's covered primarily black. It's those blue eyes with the white skin that are most expensive water buffaloes. Now his nose is uh, on that ring to a pole. So it forces their head up and develops those back muscles. So this one could, for example, be used in a buffalo fight because they're really developing that back shoulder muscles for uh, for fighting hello buggy hello, buggy. how are you I am fine. good <laughs> yeah we are good yeah. all right we keep going all right let's keep going up the way so again we're starting to hello, starting to level out here for a while which is good because uh yeah the sun's uh starting to beat buggy hello, buggy, buggy. <laughs> dogs they tend to bark at the bullies. That's okay. Wow, here's a beautiful looking. Look at this house. That one's really pretty. Okay, well, we're now in a barking contest. Beautiful house. All the traditional roofs, the traditional houses in green. building a new uh a new structure here so you do come across opportunities to buy snacks so this guy has um hi Pac. 
Yes. How are you? Fine. So Pac is selling all types of uh, diapers, laundry, soap, coffee, snacks, biscuits, juice. Eggs. Eggs. The best eggs. <laughs> Hello. How are you? How are you? Candy? You give me candy? <laughs> Hello, Poggy. They are elementary students. Elementary. Are they learning English? Uh, yes. Uh, in the fourth until sixth grade. Ah, you're learning. You speak English? No. No, no, no English. That's okay. Well, uh, they just, Abu Kabar. They, they just uh, learn basic <laughs> English. Yeah, basic. Okay, they're asking for candy. I'm not surprised. I would too if I was them. Hello. So it's 11.30. Does everyone go home for lunch? Yeah. So the kids go home for lunch? Sure. Do they go back to school in the afternoon? No, no, no. no. So it's the morning, the morning no. school? Until uh, America. They, they study. Yeah. They study until 10 or 11. 10 or 11. So, how are you? Huh? How are you? Fine. Good. Your English is very good. Mm, little. Yes. Little? Yeah. Uh, or Bahasa Sidiki. Bahasa Indonesia. Yeah, Sidiki. What uh what what grade are you in school? Grade up grade year. Um grade. Nice. Almost done. Secondary school. Secondary core. All right. Well nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alright, have a good day. Oh what's your name? Here comes the Jeep. My name is Kelly. What's your name? Erica. 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 America, Erica. Yeah. Ah, Erica. Woo. Erica. Very nice, Erica. Like <laughs> nice, to nice to meet you. Since these kids are all here, we're gonna buy uh, everyone just a little candy. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, you can keep it. Uh, Granite. 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 We pass Granite. out the candy, babe, since my hands are full. Just kind of give them. Give it them. to the children. Yeah. yeah. What do I do? Just give it to the kid. Hold your hands out, they'll take. Thank you. Okay, so just like that, you've got a water stop, a candy stop, future subscribers maybe, we'll find out. And onward we go. All right, so I just did a parent foot paw. I bought all the kids candy. Except for these guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have remedied the situation. <laughs> yeah, pockets? Yeah, put a couple in your yeah, pockets. Yeah, wait, wait, I don't know if that's true. Uh, yeah, okay, he could probably have it. Yeah. Okay. Just watch it. Candy for the rest children. Mine. Life is good. Mine. Mine. Hold on, Forrest. Right here. Mine. What do you say? Uh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, Tomakashi, Sama Sama. Hello. <laughs> Siang. Hello. Siang. Uh, hello. How old is your baby boy? Yeah. Uh, Spider Man. Spider Man. Big boy. <laughs> he is one year. One. Satu. Satu. Good boy. Very handsome. Handsome boy. Pictures. Like his shirt, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, lava lava. <laughs> you gotta take the brakes from here. Hello. 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 Hi, Ibu. Hey, oh. that's me. Hey. Oh. Hey, no. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. Well, you know, sometimes when a boy wants a stick. Bye, Dada. You know, Dada. They have been to the family house there, uh -huh. up there, because someone, one member of the family just died this or last night or this morning. Oh, okay, just just now then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So somebody in this house here, up the hill, has uh, just died. Yeah, yeah. 
I see, yeah, yeah. yeah. So one quick thing to add on is uh, tempers and tantrums and all that from a uh, just over three year old. So oftentimes if Forrest gets crabby or screaming or just gets into that tantrum uh, stage, we do our best to find kind of a quiet spot. I mean, right now we're sort of in between villages, the ones around the corner, and this is about as good as it's gonna get. So he got upset about not wanting uh, a big stick or a small, anyway, something regarding a stick it threw him into a tantrum. So I carried him through the village. He was screaming his head off, going kind of nuts. Just everyone was watching and looking and you just calmly walk through and finally we get to a stretch with uh, not a lot of distraction. And I can just set him down there and he's coming out of his tantrum now. He's so, for force anyway, he sort of needs a moment to rage throw the sticks, throw the leaves, whatever's around him. And now he's getting to his uh, kind of self calming. So uh, maybe in a minute or so, I'll be able to snatch him up and then catch up to everybody. So we'll uh, see if we can do it now. Forrest, you want to mommy? Can daddy carry you? Okay, well, maybe another minute or two. All right, and just like that, we're kind of starting to feel better. Hello, Siang. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's so curious, but as soon as the camera comes out, uh, the children go running. So, <laughs> always kind of cute. We have left now the real ascent part of the hike, and that has opened up to beautiful rice terraces. Gorgeous, wouldn't you say, Kel? This is gorgeous. So <sighs> green, so open and big. Should we uh, move to Taraja? I think so. I think so too. I think you we're ready. Can, you, know, you can get used to this. Like if this was your view every day. Morning view. We could even live right there. That is going to be the it's chalet. The house. Yeah, with the buffalo. <laughs> I think there's actually a buffalo in there. I think I can see its ear. I think I can see it too. As we work our way now out of the rice terraces, there's a little water buffalo in there staring at me. But we are going to cross this sort of bridge here crossing a little skinny river but you can see it's all sort of dammed up and then on this side there's a water buffalo there's a dude soaking his water buffalo down there in a yellow shirt so there's a big old water buffalo just enjoying the cool water good idea yeah i think so <laughs> and then <laughs> no jumping down this one here is our very first Bamboo ladder. Bamboo ladder. All right, Ari, it's Here, Kelsey. Here, Kel, I'll take the umbrella. Okay. All right, Forrest, here we go. Buddy. All right, Ari, here to help. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Okay. You made it, Kelly. Hey, great. Pretty good. Were well, you always okay? All right, yeah, I think so. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. I got it. No, it's okay. Yeah. Just sort of one step at a time here, everybody. So oi, 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 right into the mud. So many things. All right. Vanquish that challenge, no problem. <laughs> right down the old bamboo ladder. Onward. All right, so occasionally you got to bushwhack a little bit to get through the mud gauntlets. Oi. Country roads, right? There you go. Adventure, a little bit. All right. Adventure. Woo. Oi. Cloud of rain. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It's just a big soppy mess. But it, it obviously gets better over there. So that's where we're heading. <laughs> step by step. Okay, no, 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 no. It's okay. Come here. Go, go, go. Later we wash. We wash the. Yeah, yeah. we wash later. Give okay, me okay. mama. Ah, oh, right in the mud. Oh, poor guy. Oh, man. There's going to be some muddy shoes. I almost have to move fast through it. All right, go for it, Kelly. Okay, I'm going to the rock. There's nowhere you can go. Oh, that was, that was past ankle deep of mud. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I should go a different way. All right. All right, I got this. Got it. Totally dry. Woo. Woo. This country 
is beautiful. I mean, we're really transitioning through these rice fields, hopping over water and getting a real sense of uh, what kind of maneuvering rice terraces is all about. But just big rocks, there's a guy chilling up there. Beautiful countryside. You can see all these waterways. I don't know if that is um, tr like regulated by people or if this is just the way the water rolls. There must be some sort of organization system to it. But there's certainly water in all directions. Another little bamboo bridge here. And just like that, back in the jungle. Nice and shady now. Out of the woods, onto a property. Nice house, got the laundry hanging. The uh, token dog there. Always a barking dog. Oh, and a big buffalo. Let me see. Let me see. Hello. Hello. Little doggy. Hello. And there's their yeah, big big buffalo. Mama, big buffalo. So black eyes, dark skin, expensive, but again, less valuable than a water buffalo that would have blue eyes and more white colored skin. Wow, what a house, what a life. And I bet they do all that rice terrace we just walked through. I bet that's theirs. These are their sweet potatoes. Those greens, all the greens go to feed pigs. Oh, they have another bowl in there. So they have at least two water buffaloes in here. Lemongrass. Ah, and they have lemongrass now. Yum. Eat it. Oh, you can smell it. Oh, smell that. Whoa, that smells great. Smells like citrusy. You know why they call it lemongrass now, huh? Here, I'll have four smell. It smells like yellow starburst. Smell good? <laughs> well, right up his nose. <laughs> it smells it delicious. Smells like yellow starburst. Yeah, for sure. Sweet. And just onward into the country landscape. I think what's so captivating about the landscape here is just the sheer number of rocks that are part of these rice terraces. I mean, you look across the field there and it's just all types of boulders sticking out. And the way that the farmers just weave the rice terraces all around these uh, kind of natural boulders. So it, it creates really natural breaks in the field. But this is beautiful. Here's got some kind of channel of water going there. That water certainly supports all of this. Another little bamboo up across yeah gorgeous country some of the most beautiful rice terraces I've seen are here in Taraja nice and you yeah all right thank you Got it. Easy. <laughs> nice. Spend all day just meandering the rice fields. Oh. Our driver will come to pick us up there. Okay, so we're gonna weave around to the left. Yeah. And the road's just in the in the trees over there. Right. So we are coming to an end of our. Uh, what was it about a three-hour hike for us? Probably without. Uh, you know, the real young kids, you could do it in, in maybe an hour and a half or two hours, but for us, we had lots of breaks, took our time. Well, when you come to views like this, I don't mind uh, slowing down at all. I mean, geez, it'd be great. This is a good picnic spot. Just spend all day out here. I don't see anyone working right now, but that's probably because it's about one o'clock now. Sort of that high peak heat of the day. It's not too bad because we're at higher elevations, but again, sweeping rice fields, very beautiful. The boulders are what separate these landscapes from 
what we saw in Bali. Three hours later, we've made it back to the car and that was great. That was fun. That was fun. Would you recommend yeah. the hike? Yes. What was your favorite part? My favorite part is when we were in the jungle trying to get out of the mud <laughs> and Granite lost his shoe. Yeah, Granite, want to tell us about that? Okay, well, there's this like flat part and like um, I stepped on it and then like I went like two feet down. You were like at least almost knee deep. And lost the shoe. We got the shoes back. Luckily, uh, Aru washed them in the river for us. Right. Yeah. But that was great. So if you want to do a hike like that, oh, that's fantastic. You got to get with Aru. Thank you. He'll be the guide. We saw lots of cool stuff. Going through towns, going through rice fields, checking out the mountains. Beautiful. I mean, I, again, it was it was epic. So uh, highly recommended. We'll see you in the next episode.